Them no know, them no know, them no know Tell me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Them no know, them no know, them no know Tell me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Face pretty, me no need no filter Real top girl a road Shop like splinter, me no wear girl clothes Me no pose in a rental Work for this, it no coincidental Money Longer than the line in the airport Eat them white like my ear force me a drip And soon need a raincoat creep up on them like police in a plain clothes Them no know, them no know, them no know Send me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Them no know Hey YouTube besties, this is your girl Arlena I'm back with another video Now today is the... What day is today? Today is the 13th of October. I'm getting ready for bed and I edited a video yesterday, which was the 12th, and I realized it was the set I did for Gabrielle for her birthday in July. But this set is the set that I did for her in June for mom's funeral. So... I've been running out of the space and I realized that yesterday when I did Gabrielle's nails, um, I couldn't record Kaylee's nails because I didn't have any more space on my phone. And I was like, I have so much content in my phone. I really need to sit down and edit them and convert them and transfer them to my daily phone so that I can free up space on this old phone to create more content so that's what i'm doing here um i'm hoping i get to put them out in sequence so hopefully you get to see this before you see her birthday set now as i said this is a set that i did for her for her mom's funeral when we were going to grenada so she was the one who got her nails done first well she got her nails done and then i did mine the night before i left for grenada so she got hers done i think the monday or the sunday either the monday evening or the sunday evening and we left for grenada the tuesday no the wednesday morning we left for grenada and i did my nails this tuesday night um, cause mom's funeral was a Thursday. So, yes, I think I did Gabriel's meal the Sunday evening. Um, so the color scheme for our mom was purple. So I did all different shades of purple on Gabrielle. Um, I used the Madame Glam polishes that I had. Um, I used a purple, a pinky, let me see if I can get them to tell you guys the names rather than I keep saying these colors all the time. I'll be right back. Okay, so I use Vida Loca, which is the first purple one. I'm going to try and remember them when I get to the um, design part. Glorious and Eternal Bliss. Those were the a part of the I think it was a seven piece or a six piece. Oh, I almost dropped my phone. Six piece or a seven piece that I paid I bought from one of my friends who had them for sale. Um I paid one hundred and forty Barbados dollars, which is seventy US for the six. I think the only color that I didn't get at the time was the yellow because he couldn't find it. <sighs> So those are the Madam Glams that I have. And then I have four Nail Reserve. Um, and now I have a couple Born Pretty. And of course, you know, I have my collection of Melody Susie. So for this set, this was a... Was this a fresh set? Yes, we did a fresh set on her for these ones. Yes. So this was a full set. Um, this one took me about three hours from start to finish because the design wasn't a lot. So, yeah, it took me just about three hours to get done. The design wasn't a lot. And normally, 
of foot set takes me just about three hours and if I have to do nail art or anything that it takes me an additional 30 to 45 minutes so I find when I have like if I do nails back to back it doesn't take me that long but if I wait if I go a month without doing anything then it takes me back to three hours three hours and 45 minutes so um my refills normally take me about an hour and a half two hours um depending on the length and if i have any repairs to do if i don't have any repairs to do and it's just a refill it will take me about 45 minutes to an hour and that's something that i'm very proud of um in terms of my refill if i just have to prep and refill after four weeks it's only going to take me an hour an hour and 15 minutes the most and i'm very proud of that but if i have to do a repair because normally my repairs are either two nails or three nails and that is um like doing a full set <laughs> in all honesty so that will take me two hours and 30 minutes if I have to do any repairs. Let's say if I have to repair two nails, it will take me about two and a half hours. I've never, I don't think I've ever gone past three hours when I had to do a repair. Yeah, because that's what it took me today, actually. I did a refill today on Linda on the um, Dream Nail Supply Ring the Alarm set that I did and we started just around after i would say between 20 past and quarter past one i had to take a break in there for about 30 minutes because i'm on call and i didn't, i got a call and i had to break for like 20 minutes the first time and then about 10 minutes the second time so i would say about 30 minutes and we were finished by quarter to four So that's okay. So let's say we started around 1 30, 2 30, 3 30. Yeah, two hours and yeah, two and a half hours when I have to do a repair. And I had to do two repairs for her. And then we did Frenchies on them and two accent nails. So yeah, it took me about two hours and a half to get those done. Um, so with this set for Gabrielle. I did um, a sort of an ombre, not necessarily a full on ombre. I wanted to actually see the transition of the polish. So I used an ombre brush to blend it out a little um, into the nude. And the nude that I'm using here, of course, is Dream Nail Supplies Rosé. I showed you that in the beginning and her um clear because for the tips i'm going to be doing for the ring finger well the index finger and the ring finger yeah sorry i'm going to be doing an ombre with the nude and clear because i wanted to give it that we used um mermaid chrome on those two fingers to give it that really nice effect and then i did the oh gosh the 3d yeah I, we say oh gosh a lot in the caribbean <laughs> sorry <laughs> um what do you call those those water droplets not water droplets but those 3d droplet effect um i did that on two of her fingers um using my extension gel that i bought from timu the clear one um it's the same one that i used in the video after this for her birthday set so more or less i used the mermaid chrome as the background and then top coated everything so the design wasn't much um because i was using the gel polish as the design and then i added some diamantes and purple flowers 
but I didn't I forgot to record that part so you're just gonna see me putting on the polish and top coating and then you're gonna see the design <laughs> um I was watching Nelly and Crystal's live yesterday when I was doing um, nails and Nelly was talking about using music and said that she no longer plays any music she's either talking or not saying anything are not saying anything you're just watching her work and honestly that's how I feel about using music from these editing apps because um, I had a strike on one of my videos that YouTube ended up taking down and I had to reach out to the owner of the music well not the owner but the management company that manages the rights for that that music in order for me to get it back up and they basically gave me a strike because I didn't give them credit for using their song and they wanted me to put a specific narrative in it if not I had to pay a subscription to the rights for whatever time and whatever time I paid for that's the only time I could use it for if not they have to be compensated for me using the music on my channel and i had to explain to them i am not monetized i am new to this um i was willing to mute the segment from my video and then nelly did mention that youtube is not allowing you to do that anymore and i was like that's such a bummer um so i said the main thing that i can do right now is i'm going to be playing caribbean music um Mainly music from Barbados, mainly music from Trinidad, mainly music from Grenada, of course. Um, I want to also include some from St. Vincent. Um, there's this young lady that I follow on. Okay, someone's at my front door. Anyway, there's this young lady I follow on Instagram. Her name is Jade. She's from Dominica and she has such a heavenly voice. I don't want to say Sirene or Serene, but that's what I think her voice sounds like, a Sirene. But you know the stories behind mermaids and their voices and stuff. But she has such a beautiful voice and she teaches a lot about her culture in Dominica. And it makes me wish that I was taught so much more than what I know with regards to our Grenadian culture and our heritage where it comes to the Arawaks and the French settlers and then the British settlers. Um, I know a lot about my history because history, history was my passion when I was growing up and I wanted to do history as one of my one of my CXC subjects. But I was told not to by my class teacher long story anyway I'll never get into that every time I thought talk about that I get annoyed so I'm gonna leave that alone but I am a history buff um I love to learn about culture and our West Indian culture um I always want to explore and learn as much as I can one of the things that I always wanted to do was learn Patwa and it was never taught to my generation the older generation would use it to speak when they didn't want us to understand so you know growing up we used to have our own form of patwa and stuff like that but it wasn't anything that was taught and i wish that i wish we were taught that part of our heritage um, a lot of times I envy my fellow St. Lucians and Dominicans who know their Patois language and could actually speak and have a, have a conversation in their Patois. I love that. Um, I started following because the same um, young lady Jade, she actually um, told me there is a young lady I think she has St. Lucian heritage I'm not sure if Saint Lu she's St. Lucian but I don't want to speak out of terms but she does a lot of content that will teach you the password twine and I've been seeing a couple of videos from her 
but to sit down sat down and say I'll take notes I haven't done that as yet life has just been crazy and when I'm in my bed I'm just watching just to calm my mind and you know not really take notes so I'm hoping I get to the point that I do get to the part part where I take some notes um this video is about 20 minutes 25 minutes long and we're at 15 minutes so I'm gonna talk a little bit about my mom in this video I am finally able to talk about her a bit more I still I still cry a lot and then the other day I was sitting down thinking Ooh, I'm gonna start crying now because if it's one thing mom used to always celebrate was me and my sister's birthday I thought I could talk about it okay I'm back I had to pull myself a little bit together I got a call and that put me back into whew, I'm still gonna cry again I'm not gonna lie I'm still gonna cry again when I start to talk but as I was saying mom was always big into our birthdays and because my older sister and I live here in Barbados and it was her my younger sister um, my uncle and my sister's four kids in Grenada um, she always used to be here for our birthdays even if she didn't come before my birthday I would see her like a couple days after and she'll be here until my birth my sister's birthday in November which is the 16th because my sister and I are both Scorpios so this is the first birthday we're gonna celebrate without her and my sister is turning 50 so we were planning something really big and making sure that we made plans for mom to come up so okay so that was my work phone <laughs> I'm on call, so I take calls after hours. So, as I was saying, this was be this will be the first birthday without her, and it would have been a milestone. Well, it's going to be a milestone because my sister is turning fifty, so we're doing something for her, and it's going to be really hard. That mom is not here for that. yeah it's really really hard so I'm gonna talk about mom a little bit um, just to give you guys some background uh, my mom started off as a teacher so everyone called her Chalus which was a nickname for teacher Lucy because her first name was Lucy so instead of saying teacher Lucy, everybody just called her Chalus. And she had that nickname all of my life that I can remember. Um, when she left teaching, she went to work at our first um, national airport, which was Pearls Airport. Um, that's the airport that they do drag racing and stuff on now because we have the Morris Bishop International Airport and she later then moved on to that airport. She worked with the Grenada Board of Tourism so she dealt with incoming uh, tourists and um, entering them into the system so that we're able to track how much tourists comes to the island via the airport and stuff like that so that's what she did on a daily basis so I had many a trips down to the airport on Sundays um, with her when she was working and stuff like that um, I didn't really talk about the nails here unfortunately because I said I wanted to try doing some sort of voiceover instead of using music so that's mainly what I'm doing here I'm just gonna talk as much as I can um, <clears throat> my mom the job that she did she met a lot of her celebrities and that one that's that was one of the things I really admired about her in terms of her job um, she was not a boastful person and 
when I tell you my mom met a lot of celebrities, she met a lot of celebrities. And me as a kid growing up, um, there are a lot of them that I looked up to. And I always say I would be forever grateful for meeting um, Morgan Freeman because I met him when I was a teenager. Um, I went to work with my mom on Sunday and we're just there. And normally I'm sitting playing cards or doing reading a magazine or something and she's doing her work. And just before, I think it was the last flight that came in, we were there sitting and I wasn't facing the door or looking up or anything. And then I heard this person say, hello, Lucy, how are you? And I said, what in my head, why does that sound like Morgan Freeman? He came in there and spoke to my mom and called her by her first name. And she was like, oh, hi, Morgan. How, how, how good to see you and talking to him. Like she knows this man, like they know each other from back in the day. And then I turned around and then, because she knows that I like Morgan Freeman. She was like, this is my daughter, my middle daughter. And I explained to him who I was. And then he put out his hand to shake my hand. And I was in shock. I was speechless because I was like, here I am standing in front of shaking hands with me, Morgan Freeman. And my mom is just there like it's nothing. So that's one of the things I really admired about her. She never, She was never boastful. In terms of the things that she did and the work that she did and the people that she met and all of that. Um, oh, another famous person that is well known is Yvette Noel Shaw. She is Beyonce's publicist. My mom actually taught her in school. And when she went to Grenada a couple of years ago, she kept she went to my secondary school and she was giving a speech to them and talking to them about her life in Grenada and those sort of things and she was like my favorite teacher was teacher Lucy and my niece was like that's my granny <laughs> so it was like it was like it was just so amazing who she was as a person that when I remember certain things like that it makes me smile because I even messaged Yvette on Instagram and said to her I didn't know my mom taught you and she was like who's your mom and I sent her a picture she said yes that's my favorite teacher <laughs> and I thought that was so cool um where are we let me just talk about what's going on so this is the one on the pinky is Vida Loca the one on the pointer finger is Glorious and the one on the thumb is Eternal Bliss, all by Madame Glam. As you can see, I had a, a little bit of trouble with the um, Glorious because of how pigmented it was. And I brought it up too far. So I had to take off some and go again. <laughs> so that's what I did. Anyway, my mom was, she was cool. I mean, we weren't close. Um... Because I was a middle child and the rebel and all of that. and But I loved my mom. Don't get me wrong. I loved my mom. Um, I just, growing up, now being an adult and being in a situation where I have children, I just say that she did the best that she could with the cards that was dealt with to her, the life that was dealt to her. <laughs> And she did her best. Um, she always told us we have to strive to be our best in whatever we do. Um, people always used to say, oh, she thought she was the queen in our neighborhood. And we were princesses. And she used to always tell us, yes, walk with your head high. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what you have. As long as you walk with your head high, no one can put you down. My she used to tell me some things, but like I say, I still love my mom. Besides the point, I love my mom. <laughs> um, and we didn't have the best history growing up, but I knew she was proud of us. Um, especially my older sister who owns her own business. I knew she was very proud of us. She's all she always bragged about her kids in Barbados and talking about my sister and what she does in terms of cooking my sister my sister is a oh my sister can cook my sister can cook my younger sister she can cook down she can cook down um so i know that my mom was proud of us and 
She loved her grandchildren. She loved her grandchildren. Ah, almost to the end. So this is the finished set. I'm going to have to start work talking here because it's going to end right here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time and sitting with me. This is Arlena sending you lots of love, sunshine and rainbows from Barbados. Bye you too, besties. Swear that I'm the truth. I regular me off it till I'm white, do say yes. And the game I play me off it with.